rights relating to civil liberties. Civil liberties refer to the personal freedoms that enable human beings to exercise their capacity to reason fully and act upon them. Rights to these civil liberties protect the individual sphere of freedom from arbitrary and undue interference by the state. These rights are guaranteed in the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights or the ICCPR. Broadly, these rights are right to freedom of thought, conscience and opinion, right to freedom of speech and expression, right to freedom of assembly and association, right to freedom of religion, right to life and protection from extrajudicial killings, right to security and liberty and protection from arbitrary detention, enforced disappearances and torture or inhumane and cruel treatment, right to freedom from slavery, right to equality before the law and equal protection of the laws, right to a fair trial and to be presumed innocent till proven guilty, right to privacy, right to freedom of movement, right to freedom of work. Political rights. Political rights enable people to participate in the process of governing directly or indirectly through their chosen representatives. These rights are guaranteed in the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and they include right to exercise choice and cast their vote to elect a person or political party to represent them, right to stand as a candidate in elections, right to hold a public office, right to participate in decision making over matters that affects the right holders closely, right to citizenship, right to hold political assemblies, right to form political associations, and the right to seek information regarding public issues. Economic and social rights. Economic and social rights refer to those rights that enhance the capabilities of human beings to live a life with human dignity or a life that they value. These rights are guaranteed in the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights and include the right to enjoyment of just and favorable conditions of work such as equal pay for equal work, fair wages and safe and healthy working conditions, right to form trade unions and engage in collective bargaining, right to social security and assistance in case of need such as unemployment, old age, disability, etc. Right to adequate standard of living, including the right to adequate food and the right to adequate housing. Right not to be forcibly evicted from one's place of residence. Right to higher standards of physical and mental health. Right to enjoy free and compulsory primary education. Right to access affordable secondary, higher and technical education. Cultural rights. The ICACR guarantees the right of everyone to take part in cultural life. United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization or the UNESCO in its Declaration on Cultural Diversity has defined culture as a set of distinctive spiritual, material, intellectual and emotional features of society or social group which encompasses in addition to art and literature, lifestyles, ways of living together, value systems, traditions and beliefs. So cultural rights include right of all persons to express themselves and to create and disseminate their work in the language of their choice and particularly in their mother tongue. 
right of all persons to quality education and training that fully respect their cultural identity and right of all persons to participate in the cultural life of their choice and conduct their own cultural practices. Before we move on to the next lesson, let's pause and reflect. Examine your national constitution again. Apart from the chapter on fundamental rights, does it also have a chapter titled Directive Principles of State Policy or Duties of the State? If yes, examine the provisions of such a chapter. Which categories of rights does this chapter pertain to? We will examine the answer to this question in the next lesson. Can you think of examples that demonstrate the linkages between the right to speech and the right to adequate food, the right to just and favorable conditions of work and the right to form associations, the right to equal protection under the law and the right to liberty and security, the right to adequate standard of living and the right to protection from arbitrary detention.